God, please, no! 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 And that's how you lose 10 minutes in the garage. It has already been two weeks since I bought the car and I guess that maybe not today but tomorrow I'll finish working on it and I have actually done a lot of work already I'm done with like 95% of the interior I have... Uh, do you remember the whiteboard that was here and it looked terrible? I bought some foil for cheap because it, uh, it's actually intended for uh, covering furniture and I was looking for black mat, they didn't have black mat unfortunately but this was close enough and I think it looks good so I covered this and I have installed the speakers again, but without the meshes because they were in very bad condition. And right now, I'm really satisfied with the result. And also, it turned out that someone had messed up the wiring of the speakers. And this was connected properly, and this was connected the other way. And when this happens, when this cone goes up, the other one goes down. And they produce exactly opposite sound waves and ca cancel each other. And when I fixed this, everything started working as it should and now it has, the car has really good music. And also I have changed the door panels because as you remember, I have bought new ones which were originally black, but I couldn't exchange the inner part which was red leather on them. And I have decided that it would be, it would be much faster and easier to just paint mine. So I painted them, I have installed them, fixed some issues with the doors. Yeah, and I have to install the rest of the back seat because this is only the back part and I guess that will be it. I'll be done with the interior, then I'll continue with the engine, which I have already pressure washed. <laughs> I know some of you are against this, but if you do it properly, it's not a problem. I have waited for it to dry and now the car, wor the car works fine. There are no problems whatsoever. So I have uh, removed a lot of parts from the engine which had rusted and I have painted them black, so I have to install them. And I also fixed the idling issue because when you turn on the car, it was idling at like 3200 RPM, which is too high, it's, it's not normal. And I traced the problem to a broken vacuum line. I have changed it and now the car works good. It is holding steady 800 to 1000 RPM. I'll clean the exhaust tips because they were painted black and the paint is coming off easily. But I have to finish that so that they look good. I'll have to adjust them because the left one is hanging a little bit lower. I'll finish the interior, I'll finish the engine. Um, I have to check the brakes, this is very important. When you're selling a car, it doesn't matter what the sound system is and how the engine is working and so on. I mean, those are important, but, but the most important thing you should do is definitely check the brakes, check the tires, make sure that when you're selling the car no one, no one is going to crash with it. And when I'm done with this, I'll have to polish the paint. And that would be it. After that, maybe drive it for a little bit, make some pictures and post it for sale. Let's go! Back seat, back seat. Oh! I'm really excited and not only because my dome white is working again, but also because with the dome white fixed and the back seat installed, my work on the interior is pretty much done. Now I'm just waiting for the new head unit, which is going to arrive tomorrow. And meanwhile, I can turn the car around so I have more space to work and continue with the engine. Let's go. Forget to rev it a bit. Well, this is the engine bay after I have washed it, and as you can see, it looks much better than before. I have also washed the inside of the hood, which was dirty, as well as the rest of the car, because it hasn't been driven in two years. So I have also painted the exhaust manifold cover, the engine mounts on both sides and some little details around the engine bay. They, they all had surface rust, which is not a problem, but it looks bad when you're trying to sell a car and yeah, black is the way to go. And this thing over here, I know it looks like a carburetor, but it's not exactly one. And it's also not a single point injection because this engine comes from the beginning of the 90s. So how does it operate? Do you see? Over here, this thing is a vacuum control module, 
which contains some electronics, some relays and so on. And you can see you can see the amount of vacuum lines going out of it. And every single one of them is responsible for things like idle, automatic choke and so on. So I have to trace all of them, check for leaks and I changed the leak one, which is the reason why the car is working properly right now. And I have also used, I'm not sure if you see, but there are some mechanical things over here, which gets rusted really badly. So I have used just a big amount of WD-40 on top of them and now everything's moving smoothly and the car is working fine. And yeah, I think this is pretty much it. Now I'll take the painted parts, which are missing from the engine bay for now. I'll install them and we'll be done with the engine. I know, there should be a filter here, but uh, we've got an outer one, so this one here is not needed and I'm leaving the box empty. Well, this is the air filter which was on the car when I bought it. And when I disassembled it, I actually found something very interesting which I'm going to show you now. Just let me get rid of this paper. So, this is the tube which was going from the filter to the air box. And the filter attaches like this, which looks fine, right? But when I deattached it, I'll have to remove this as well. So when I deattached it, I found out that the tube was all the way inside. And when this happens, do you see when, where it goes? <laughs> so all of this surface wasn't actually sucking air, and the air going into the engine was only going through this inner circle here, which is really small, and was probably one of the reasons why the car wasn't running very good, was smelling of fuel, because uh, this is reducing the amount of air going into the engine, and the effect of that is pretty much the same as a choke which doesn't turn off or yeah, very rich, very rich fuel mixture. So now I'm going to not put it like this, but a little bit like this. And this way, this whole surface is going to secure and the car will run properly, I hope. Something else that you might find useful when you're trying to restore something metal which has corroded and was shiny in the beginning you can use a copper wire brush because the copper is actually softer than the metal that I'm going to use it on and this way it can remove the rust without scratching the metal and it will look like, like brand new so here's the problem the air filter right here needs to be installed in such position so that it can secure with its whole surface and let the engine work properly but if I install it in such a way I'll have no access to the head white which has a burnt white bulb for the parking lights so I have to change the white bulb first and attach the filter later so this is what I'm going to do this is the white bulb that used to be inside some Chinese LED trash and this here is the new set of white bulbs, which is actually the correct one, and it was dirt cheap. It was one level 30 stutinki. It's less than a euro. Really cheap. By the way, the copper wire brush is good on all metals, which are softer than copper, but on aluminum, they are just perfect. It will make the aluminum look like brand new and it will not be scratched. Here we go, our engine bay is assembled and it's ready for photos. I think it looks very good and I'm proud with the result. Well, on a second thought, it turned out that there's a little bit more that I can do. Well, now I'm done with the engine, and since I have done this, there's not much left to do. I have to check the brakes, adjust the exhaust tips and clean them, and both of those are going to happen tomorrow, because I need the channel outside for this. And it's already dark and cold, so I can't work outside, but I've got a couple more hours 
today. So probably polish the paint, especially on the hood because it's in really bad condition. And I have a few details on the outside that I need to paint and that would be it. Now when you're polishing a car, you should know that if there is a camera around, there would be a lot of dust coming out of the pot and this is bad for the camera, so I'm going to skip the polishing part and I'll show you the results. Well, there is definitely a result from the polishing, but it's already too late, it's 10.30 in the evening. So I guess that would be it for today, I'll continue tomorrow morning. So, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. And you know, like, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys!